Blessed are ye, Matthew 5, 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Right. You're in a cult. God's going to deal with you for being in that cult. You're going to hear it. You're going to hear it. I've heard it. I've heard it too. You're all going to hear it. It's not new. I just wait for it. Soon as someone new comes in, I'm going to look at my watch and say, I want to know how long it's going to take for the hate and the evil to come your way. Okay? From there, let's go right back now to um, 1 Samuel, chapter 15. I want y'all to see this. <clears throat> so, you had certain sons of Belial of Israel that did not respect Saul. They hated Saul. Unfounded, no reason. It's the same way today. Why do you hate me? Why do you hate that brother, that sister? Uh, I, they can't answer it. I just hate them. <laughs> then they're going to they gonna lie. Give me that scripture about Christ. Where it said, um, y'all know what I'm talking about? There was nothing. It said it was for jealousy. Because they knew they had nothing against the man. Yeah, that one. That one. It's never no, it's never he or she committed adultery against me. It's never that. He or she robbed me. It's not that. He or she, give me something that you make somebody mad. Punch my mama in the face. It's never none of them things. It's always, um, um, I, I just hate them. It's the spirit within you. You got it? Matthew 27:18. All right, let's get that. Matthew 27, 18. Thank you. Get that. Read that. Matthew 27, 18. Come on. For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. So the scribes and the Pharisees delivered Christ to Pontius Pilate only for envy, jealousy. These guys, they hired false witnesses mm -hmm. against Christ. He said this and he did that. It was a whole coup against Christ. How much more is going to, Christ said, it. you shall surely drink the cup that I have drunk. Christ went through it, we gonna go through it. So don't be shocked, don't, I get emails. Why do these dudes hate Israel United and Christ and especially you so much? What did y'all do against them? <laughs> I just laugh. I say, brother or sister, when you learn these scriptures, you're going to find out why people hate others. Okay? You won't find one clip, one video of us speaking evil, making personal attacks against it. So it's never that. Right. They talked about my mind. It's never that. It's always, he didn't break down the scripture the way I broke it down, so I hate that. It's always something stupid. It's, read it again. For he knew that for envy, they had delivered him. Envy. Envy. That's always the root of it all. Envy. And the root of envy is what word? What's the root of envy? Hatred. 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 Okay. First Samuel 15. 15. And when you think about it, just think about it. The Bible says there's a great red dragon having seven heads and how many horns? Seven. And what is that dragon called in Deuteronomy 28? What's the word God used? Enemies. You got your enemies coming after you. Or they don't say your enemies is not going to differentiate. Oh, this Israelite camp is different from this one or that one. Your enemies see you all the same. I hope y'all know that. Be I'm going to give you an example because back in the day, you had light-skinned Israel, back in slave time, that thought they was good because they were close to the master. Mm -hmm. He saw all us the same. One drop of blood, what that make you? Black. He didn't care how light your skin was. He saw us all the same. Okay? So, today you got people that, oh, I'm not with this group. Okay, you, you do a video saying you ain't with this one or yeah, you ain't with that one. Esau is going to see you all the same. We got one common enemy. Your enemy's coming at you. Imagine, how many of y'all saw Braveheart? If y'all didn't see the movie, look at it. They all going against, uh, I forgot who they're going against, near the end. Who? The British. They're going against the British. The, British. the right hand man that's with William Wallace. Oh, yeah. Betrayed him. 
He was he was with the British, right? He was Scottish. He was Scottish too. He, he was they were um, the father was um, friends with the king, the, the British king, right? With the nobles. Yeah. So they betrayed him. The mask came off. And he was like, "What the hell?" They had one common foe, but they were attacking each other. That's how. That's what you see today. We got one common enemy. You going out to fight the enemy, you got to worry about your brother right next to you. <laughs> that's a dumb, evil, wicked Negro. That's exactly what it is. That's all it is. Who does not understand the battle. He has made the battles no longer that great red dragon. It's your brother. You look like me, I hate you. My whole focus is him now. Stay away from those spirits. They will corrupt you. Okay? What you got? It's First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians 2 verse uh, 14. First Thessalonians 2 verse 14. For ye brethren became followers of the churches of God, which in Judea are in Christ Jesus. For ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen, mm -hmm. even as they have of the Jews, who both killed the Lord Jesus and their own prophets, and have persecuted us. And they please not God, and are contrary to all men. And are contrary to all men. Paul was being persecuted by his own countrymen. So don't think it's strange today. That's why a lot of times Esau just going to step back. Esau going to wait. Like Rome waited. Rome said, just wait. We ain't got to attack them now. We ain't got to destroy them. Let them tear themselves up. These so these so-called blacks and Latinos, they will eat each other alive. Let them do it. Then at the end, we going that's wrong. Then we are gonna come in and destroy them. Destroy all of them. Destroy all of them. He didn't say, "Oh, you will eat from me, I'm gonna leave you alone." Oh, you over there, you you not that, I'm gonna leave you. Rome destroyed all of us. And you got these simple Israelites. Just just look on YouTube. They can't understand it. Rather than build allies in unity, they destroy one another. Those are the most unlearned men in all Israel. And whoever is under them, their umbrella, a shame on you. Okay? They're yes. in love with the enemy. Uh, I was saying, I was, I was talking to two geeks like a week ago. I want to take care of some business. So I'm walking in this place, the guy was looking at me. I was just looking at him. I'm painting him out. No matter what, I was going to fall into the Malachi. So the guy looked at me and said, yo, what's wrong? I said, what's wrong with you, man? He said, you all right? I said, you all right, bro? He said, yo. He looked at me and said, yo. Because I had the Christ shirt on the fringes. He said, what's wrong with you? He said, y'all Israelite too, bro. They started getting mad, cursing at me and all type of mess. I said, what's wrong with you? Like, I'm a newbie in Israel. Like, I said, bro, it's hard to tell me you got the fringes. He <laughs> <laughs> said, I'm a newbie in Israel. No reason. Mm, For no mm, reason. Mm. He said, I walked in and I look like I got hatred on me. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, bro. See that? He was convicted. He saw you lawful and him not. He mad now. You were correcting him in the spirit. Exactly. That's like all it. it is. That's what you That's see. That's why they don't like it. Exactly. They see you trying to be lawful, hatred's going to come your way. You're trying to do right with the scriptures, hatred going to come your way. So just accept it. Yes. I was going to say, uh, that's why Matthew uh, 10, 22, Christ said you're going to be here all day. That's right. Okay. Exactly. That's what he said. Now watch this. 1 Samuel 15, 17. 1 Samuel 15, verse 17. And Samuel said, When thou wast little in thine own sight, wast thou not made the head of the tribes of Israel, and the Lord anointed thee king over Israel? Read it again. And Samuel said, When thou wast little in thine own sight, wast thou not made the head of the tribes of Israel? What does that mean, when thou wast little in thine own sight? What does that mean? Zeph. He thought nothing of himself. Right. He thought nothing of himself. Guess what? We could all relate to that. We all came from that low self-esteem. I'm not nobody. Right. You're in a room with Edomite folks. Somebody got a question. They ain't looking at you that, for the answer. They look right to Esau. It'll be your own people. Right. Oh. Be your own people. They were in the directions. They ain't asking their brother or sister. They look, who's, who's white in there that I can ask direction? Because a black man will give me the wrong right. thing. He look like he got sense. Right. The white man look like he got sense. We look crazy as hell. So we grow up with that low self-esteem, can never accomplish. Now read that again so we can understand what he's saying. Mm -hmm. And Samuel said, when thou was little in thine own sight, was thou not made the head of the tribes of Israel? When thou was little in thine own sight. Now, give me Proverbs 23 and 7. 
Proverbs 23 and 7. That's a good one. That's my favorite one. Proverbs 23, verse 7. I want all y'all to get this. Get this. <laughs> For as he thinketh. What? For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. <clears throat> That's the whole verse? No. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Now, read it again. For as he thinketh in his heart. For as he thinketh in his heart. So is he. So is he. As he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Barnabas, help me. As he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Right. If you got evil in your in your mind constantly, that's how you are. Okay? If you if a woman has that whole ish mentality, she a hoe. That's all she gonna be. If you think Keep stealing. That's all you is in your mind. You are a thief. Y'all understand that? Read it again, Echo. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Mm. As he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Now watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. This is what God says. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Remember, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. <laughs> You think you nothing, you always gonna be nothing. You gotta come a change. That's why Samuel was sent to Saul. Deuteronomy. That's why we are sent to our people. Deuteronomy 7 and 6, look what God said. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Do y'all believe that? Yes. Yes. You heard that? See, ain't nobody even hear you. Do y'all believe that? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute. I want y'all to repeat this after me. For thou art an holy people. For thou art holy people. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God. The Lord thy God. Have chosen thee. Have chosen thee. To be a special people. To be a special people. Unto himself. Unto himself. Above all people. 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 And upon the face of the earth. And upon the face of the earth. Y'all better believe that. We must believe that. That's right. That's right. Now you're gonna right. <laughs> woke me up now. <laughs> a lot of people probably in their spirits were afraid to say that because the nations might hear us. Yeah. 